Hi, I'm David from Geek This, and today we are going to look at FileZilla filters. A filter in FileZilla allows for you to hide unnecessary files and folders from your remote and local directories. To begin, we go to View, File Name Filters. There is also a button on the taskbar right about here. It's like the first button on the very last separator. And you can toggle on and off all the filters that you want and don't want. So if I hit apply, all of that stuff gets hidden. And I'm just going to undo that. But we need to make our own. So we're going to go to edit, create a new one. And we have three options of filtering. Filter out items matching all of the following conditions, matching any of the following, or none of the following. I'm going to match any or any of the following. So a file name begins with a period. So these are usually configuration files. If file name begins with Google, these are the Google Webmaster Tools authorization files. If file name is equal to temp, you don't need your temporary directory usually. File name is equal to bin, and then you just keep adding folders and files that you don't want to hide using these conditions. Once you're done adding the conditions, on the bottom, you can make sure they're case sensitive. Also, you can make them apply to only files, directories, or both. Once we're done, we'll hit OK. And when we toggle it on for remote filters, you can also have them run locally and hit apply. Now, if I look at the directory, all of those useless files that I don't need are gone. To view them again, you just right click on the button to get into the filter menu. Now one filter that I often use is to hide configuration files but still show HT access files. So we have to edit the filters again, go to custom and remove the begins with a period, create a new one, make sure it matches all of the following, and a file name begins with a period and does not contain HT access. Hit OK. Toggle HT, apply. Now the configuration files are hidden, but HT access is still visible. This has been David from Geek This. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It helps me out. And until next time, goodbye.